one of our friends lived over near Landa Lakes Drive, near Sarah Smith School, and we were having a spend the night party that night. It, we were probably juniors in high school, about that age, 16 or so. And we all had on our pajamas. It was about two o'clock in the morning, and we for some reason decided to walk to the Swan House. In fact, a little note, we called it, we didn't call it the Swan House. We didn't know that was what it was called. We called it the House of Two Lights. But those two lights at the top of the Swan House were always on every night. Well, later heard from somebody, I think the Inmans lived there, that two of the elderly Inmans only slept in the bedrooms on the top of the floor of the house, and that those were no doubt their bedrooms. But we didn't know that. So we just thought it was spooky. So we walked all the way there at like three o'clock in the morning with our pajamas on. It was in the summertime because we had on those little baby doll pajamas that girls wore back in the day. And we got there and those two lights were on, but there were a bunch of bushes at the entrance. Of course, it was a private home, um, but you could still walk up the driveway. There was no gates. So we walked up the driveway and another light, somebody realized they might have had a security system. I don't know. We didn't hear anything, but another light came on. And we all ran back down to the bottom and got behind those big, probably boxwood bushes and had to stay in there because a police car came by. Someone had called the police. But they didn't see us because we were inside the bushes. <laughs> and we laughed today thinking, first, how stupid that was. And second, what would have happened? I guess would have probably just put us in the car and taken us back home. But.